Hello everyone, welcome to our channel IoT Frontier, where we explore the world of IoT and latest technology trends. In this video, we are going to take a closer look into what is IoT, the power of IoT and the future of IoT. I'll take you to the future of IoT, the future where everything is connected, the future where machines and objects can talk to each other and to us, the future where we can control our home with our smartphones, uh, even control our cars with our mobile phone and track our fitness with our smartwatches. The future of IoT is limitless. That future is now. As IoT is no longer a buzzword, it's a reality. Let's get into the presentation. As we already discussed about the agenda, so what is IoT, the power of IoT and the future of IoT? So what is IoT? The definition is quite simple. It's network of devices, machines, and everyday objects that are connected to the internet and can communicate with each other. So for example, in this diagram, we can see the central thing is called clock and remaining things are all connected to the clock. So for example, if we take a smart home, smart home, uh, we have multiple smart devices, for example, smart AC, smart refrigerators. So smart ACs can communicate with the cloud and it can also listen to the commands such as change in temperature whenever a user turns it on or turns it off, sets the temperature, everything can be controlled and monitored as well. So that is why it is one, one of the example of IoT. So here we can see in depth, what are the different examples? For, on the left hand side, we can see smart refrigerator, smart AC, and we also have a smart factory. So nowadays, uh, the uh, refrigerator can communicate and we can also monitor it, change the temperature of the fridge, etc. The same way with the AC as I discussed. And in the smart factory also, we have multiple examples in the industrial sector where we can monitor the assets do the predictive maintenance and many more. So coming to the IoT characteristics. So these are the basic characteristics that every IoT device should have. So this is uh, connectivity. The connectivity refers to uh, it should be either wired or wireless. All the IoT devices should be able to communicate wired or wireless. So wired we can have Ethernet and many other. And uh, for wireless, we have Bluetooth, Zigbee, LoRaWAN, Wi-Fi, etc. For uh, second point, uh, intelligence and identity. So intelligence, every IoT devices should have uh, capability of getting the data with the help of sensors, and we should be able to process it. So for the processing, intelligence is required. And to, uh, the second point about is identity. So whenever all the devices are connected to the cloud, there should be a unique identity for the sake of tracking purpose. So that is unique identity. Scalability. So nowadays we, knew, we know that IoT is emerging a lot. We see a lot of IoT devices coming up. So IoT setup should be such that it should be able to handle all the traffic and it should be able to scale easily. And dynamic and self-adapting. So dynamic and self-adapting is like in the network where IoT devices are connected, it should be able to adapt to a different context as well as different scenario. Self-configuring. So whenever the device is turned on, it should automatically be having self-configuration where it can connect to a uh, network and communicate, start communicating. So there is no need of special configuration as an initial step. So that is a basic. IoT characteristics. Let's get into the history of IoT. The history of IoT dates back to 70s. So back then it was not called as IoT, but it was called as embedded internet and pervasive computing. So it, the IoT term was coined by Kevin Aston in 1999 while he was working at Procter & Gamble. That is how the IoT term was coined. Let's get to the power of IoT. 
So in the power of IoT, let's get into the general applications that we see in everyday scenario. So these are the readily available products in the market. So for example, uh, this is smart thermostat. So in US market, we have Google Nest that can be used to control our thermostat and change the temperature of it. And based on our user experience, user patterns, so it can automatically change the uh, temperature of the home as well. Under the connected cars, we can monitor uh, the warnings that the car is giving. Also, we can control the car, such as turning on as well as lock and lock, etc. And in the market nowadays, we can see many smartwatches that can monitor the heartbeat, etc. So that is activity tracker. Now let's talk about the smart outlet. In the smart outlets, the particular example we have taken is Belkin smart outlet which can turn any electrical appliances such as the dump refrigerator, which is not smart. So when we connect to this smart outlet, it, we can make it turn on or off using our application as well as track the energy usage. Next thing is about the parking sensors. This is one of the best initiative in under the smart city. So for example, we have uh, parking lots under the parking lot, we need to have the live uh, vacancies in the parking area. So for that, we can install these parking sensors. And whenever his car is under that parking lot, so we easily understand that the that that spot is already full. So using that application, even the consumers or the officials can understand that the parking lot is filled here, so they can. Uh, instead of wasting time, they can look into another place. That is how easy with the IoT it is. Now, let's look into the real-time application. So one of the best examples we can take is Tesla. So there was, uh, back in 2014, there was one uh, recall announcement made by Highways Authority in US, where they had asked General Motors and Tesla to recall their cars so that they had to do some repair because there was one problem where uh, the cars could cause some fire. So uh, as every manufacturer does, General Motors has recalled their cars and asked them, the customers, to get back to the dealers and fix it. But Tesla has done something different. They had released firmware over the air. So just now, just like we have uh, over there upgrades for our mobile phone for software upgrades, just like that, Tesla has done it in 2014 for the cars. So just because of that, the users doesn't have to go to the customers by spending their time, fuel, and etc. So because of this, even the dealers and consumers can save money and time. So this is the one, the power of X, uh, IoT the best example that we can take. Now let's get to the future of IoT. How big IoT is? If we take 2025 outlook, we can consider the condition-based maintenance is going to be greater than $360 billion per year. So that is very huge. And in IoT, uh, particularly in manufacturing sector, there is 65 to 95 percent in advanced economics, 50 to 70 percent in developing economics. And the revenues from real time IoT activity monitoring will rise from 15 billion to 30 billion by 2025. So, this is all in US dollar. And we can see here uh, the worth of devices connected to the internet. So, in 2003, it was 500 million dollar worth. Later on in 2016, it is $25 billion worth. And in 2020, it was $50 billion worth. So it's exponentially increasing. And using IoT, the production efficiency can be increased from 10% to 25%. So that's very huge. And if you take predictive maintenance using IoT, there can be 50% reduction of equipment downtime. So that is also very vast. The future of IoT will bring more intelligent and connected devices. 
with advanced features like AI and ML. This will lead to the future, the creation of uh, smart homes, smart cars, smart industries and much more. We are on the cusp of technological revolution and IoT is leading the way. In conclusion, IoT is more than just a technology. It's a revolution that will change the way we live, work and play. So, are you ready to join the IoT revolution? Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay updated on the new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.